What's up YouTube, this is Hill Phantom. This time I'm mounting the Starlink internet system on top of the house. So I went ahead and bought the Volcano mount. Now I wanted to go through the contents, uh, what came with the mount, as well as some of the tools that you're gonna need to mount it on top of your house. First, what came with it was uh, some lag bolts. Now these are actually gonna go into actually these corresponding holes into the joists on your roof. Next to that is actually some tape. Now this is rubberized compound tape that's gonna go in between this and the lag nuts and the mounts. So it's gonna go in between here. I'll show you on top of the roof just to keep things pretty watertight. Now the other thing it came with is this bag. This bag is actually used to slide the satellite in. It's got a shoulder mount so you can go up the ladder and feel secure. So that's what came in the box itself. Now, what else are you gonna need? You're going to need a stud finder to find where that uh, either stud or joist is. You're gonna need a 5 32nd drill bit. This is gonna be used to drill the actual pilot holes before we crank these down into the house. And that's where this comes in. And this is a half inch socket wrench so that we can throw these lag bolts into the roof, make it waterproof with the tape. And yeah, you'll also need a drill, obviously, to make those pilot holes, but I think we are ready to go to the top of the roof. Oh, forgot to mention, it did come with some pretty nifty things here, which are basically to tie down the uh, cable that will come from the router up to your satellite system. You just simply screw these in and it will hold it in place. So I think with that, guess what? We're ready to go up top. All right, here we are, top of the roof. Let's see what we got going on here. I think I'd like to put it somewhere around here. Might be a little windy. Looks like right there. There's one edge. So there we are, now we're going to get out the plate, put her right here. This might not be the best video, <laughs> it's a little sketchy up here to be honest with you, but let's get her done. So we're going to put this right in the middle, now all we have to do is drill this hole. There's one hole. Let's see if we can get these other holes here. All right, that is that. Now for this step, well, this is the actual tape. So let's get the tape out. Clear these holes out a little bit. All right. Now, what we're supposed to do is take these, crumple it up, put it into the holes. Now, I want to break it apart because these holes aren't that big. All right, next part is we're going to take these big pieces of tape put it down here then we're gonna actually drill into it so these will lay down across these holes there we go we'll do another one across here All right, I'm gonna go ahead and map, put this where I think these holes are. I don't know if we were about right. Okay. Now that that's set on there, we'll move over to putting the, la the lag bolts in. All right, for the last part, let's see if we can get these in this time. There's one. All 
All right, and the last step, tighten these down. And that's that. All right, we did it. Last and final part. That was it? I think that was it. All right, we're back in the garage after the install went pretty good. I've yet to tack down the wire, but uh, I'll do that tomorrow. So I'm gonna run an internet speed test and see how we do. Oh, not bad. 120, 125. 130, so it looks like we're peaking out about 132.7, and let's take a look at our uploads. About 17 so far. Yeah, so 132.7, 16.4, 57 milliseconds. Not bad, happy to get it on the roof. I'll still be doing some mobile tests with it, so I'll probably be going up and taking it down, but uh, I'll do that before I tack it up. But until next time, I'm Hill Phantom, and there it is, your speed test. See ya.